I'll introduce you to some of the teaching methods that we use at VIA. After many years of experience and studies from different universities, we have created an education system with blended learning. At MIA, we still use the traditional learning methods with books, classes and lectures in auditoriums. But within the last few years, we have also integrated other methods, which I'll mention in the following. During the education to become a constructing architect, the main learning approach is project-based learning, also called PBL. A very important aspect of project-based learning is group work. In connection with the group work, we have introduced a considerable amount of guidance and coaching as a supplement to the traditional class teaching. We were in sessions for the groups as well as for the individual students. During the study, there will be many opportunities to visit companies and building sites with the purpose of getting a more practical approach to the study. The individual student gets the possibility of planning his or her own learning as and when it fits in with the overall plans for the study. We also believe that the method generates a more effective learning because we all learn in different ways and with the use of this method the individual students get the possibility of choosing the learning style that he or she finds most appropriate. The methods also support the use of IT, it supports writing ability and not least learning together and learning from each other. The study has three different but complementary study environments. The first environment, learning how to learn, covers the first and the second semester. The second environment, professionalism, covers the third, fourth and fifth semester and the last Practical experience covers the sixth and the seventh semesters. Study environment one emphasizes learning how to be a successful student in a project based learning environment. The first semester will focus on different things, including the achievement of work and study methods, but still with the outset in relevant and exciting subject matters. In each semester you will be given a specific project. Your first semester project is a single family house and all aspects relating to situating the house on a plot, specifying and arranging rooms, material selection, building services, costing, time, management, etc. As mentioned earlier, the main learning approach for this education is project-based learning. In project-based learning, the student obtains a great deal of technical knowledge, knowledge how to work and learn in close cooperation with others, knowledge about your own preferred learning style and the preferred learning style of others. Project-based learning is designed to encourage you and your group to think and work independently and to take a high degree of responsibility for your education and learning processes. 
Students that are not used to work with PBL might find it very difficult in the beginning, but it's designed to help you developing responsibility for your own learning and make you more independent of traditional teacher-directed learning. As well as learning a great deal of technical matters, you also learn a lot about yourself, your preferred learning style and how to work and learn in close collaboration with others. This is very important for the rest of your education and later when you start working, where you work with other building professionals with different educational and cultural backgrounds. Your lectures will try to guide and inspire you by helping you to learn, to accept responsibility for your own and others' learning instead of just giving you quick answers or just telling you what to do. Feedback from your assessments and evaluations is an essential part of your learning process and this includes presentations and communication in your group and with other groups. Teachers are not the only one who will give you feedback. Other students and groups in your class will also take an active part in evaluating your work offering criticism, good advice and maybe help. In the end, we'll try to give you some good advice for your study. Think about your own learning style. Find out the best way how to work and use this knowledge. Look into the semester syllabus. There will be a plan of what to do in the specific semesters and plan your work after it, so you will not end up with a lot of work in the end of the semester. Be an active student, which means being in class and working in close cooperation with your groups, with other groups and with your lectures. Ask questions, both in class but also in relation to computer-supported collaborative learning. Remember, good attendance is very important. Finally, we wish you the best luck with your studies.